Welcome back to another video. My name is Kennedy and for today's video we created this hairstyle here. Every single time I wear this hairstyle everybody is like make a tutorial, make a tutorial. So here's the video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. The first thing you'll need is an eco styler gel and you can use any eco styler gel. This is just my favorite one. This one has the black castor oil and the flaxseed. The second product you'll need is just a holding gel. This one is by Style Factor and it's really similar to the edge control and I love the way this one smells and it has a really good holding power and I really like it because it does not flake up on the hair. You can also just make sure that you have a good edge control. This is just the edge booster edge control and jam because you just need jam. Once you have all these products you also just want to make sure that you have the hair. So this is what the hair looks like. This is just a closer look. This is the Fructress braid hair one curl braid collection and I did just get two packs just to be on the safe side. Lastly, you just need a crochet needle and you can usually find these like right at the beauty supply up at the register and they're literally no more than like a dollar. So once you have all this stuff, you are ready to start on this hairstyle. So I'm just going around with my Eco Styler gel all around the perimeter of my hair and I like to start off with this gel just because it's really flexible and easy to move around. After I like kind of figure out where I'm putting my ponytail, I like to just go in and kind of brush out my edges a little bit so there should be like a kind of like a part towards the front of the hair not like a super neat part but you should be able to see where the baby hairs start to go forward and where the hair where the hair for the ponytail starts to go back so what I like to do is go in with a little bit of edge control and I'm putting it on the part of my hair that's going back and this is just gonna make everything look super neat and I like to do this around the whole front perimeter. And I'm just brushing everything up and because we already put a little bit of Eco Styler gel in it, the hair is really easy to move around. So you just want to kind of hold it in the front. We're not gonna ponytail it just yet, but you just want to make sure that everything is going in the same direction. This is how I get my ponytails to look like super neat and I'm also just going in with a little bit of edge control like behind my ears and I'm just brushing everything up into one piece. So whenever I'm just trying to style my hair, I just like to go in with the Eco Styler Gel because it's flexible. And once I have it where I want it, that's usually just where I go in and put a little bit of edge control over it just so that it gets super sleek. So I'm just going in just making sure that everything looks super neat. And don't worry about this hairstyle being too tight because this ponytail is like so freaking big and voluminous. You won't even be able to see like the actual, this part of the hair. So you just want to create a ponytail. So I'm just separating this and I have a little bit of hair cream on my hair just so that it's nice and moisturized because I'm probably going to be wearing this style for a week or so and I'm just going to start to braid it up. So once you have this cute little top knot, now we are going to go in and start on the edges. And everybody does their edges different, so I'm just going to show y'all how I would typically do my edges if I was doing a hairstyle like this. So I'm just going to speed through these clips. So this is just basically how I do my edges, super simple but super neat and I just am going to be leaving like these two little sideburn pieces out and I will show you guys why in a second but now we can just move on to the actual ponytail portion of this video. So I just opened the hair and this is basically how the hair looks so it's folded down and there is like a middle section here just a closer look on what the actual hair looks like. So I'm just going to scoot closer to the camera just so that y'all can really see what I'm doing and I'm also just going to zoom in. So this is just what the crochet needle looks like. Just close the hook and just put it underneath and through your hair and you want to pull it through. Make sure that the hook stays closed though because it can really like pull the hair and hurt if it's not closed all the way. So once you slide this underneath a section of your hair, you'll want to make sure that the hook is open now. You will then just take a piece of hair and put it around the hook, close the hook, and pull it all the way through your hair while holding one end and pulling the other end all the way through. After that, you just want to tie it in a very loose knot.
and that is basically where you want to start off at so you just want to do this all around the bun and it's super easy And while you're doing this and you're tying it into a knot, you just want to make sure that the lengths of both sides of the hair are pretty even for the most part. Um, it don't have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that both pieces are around the same length so that you have like a well-rounded ponytail. And you also kind of want to stay close to the bun as possible. And I am definitely going to be using a full pack for sure. So just to give you an idea of how full you would want it, I'm definitely going to be using a full pack. So at this point, this is what the hair should be looking like. And what you want to do is just go in and basically start to separate these pieces. And you just want to continue to break all the pieces apart. And as you can see, if you look in the center, you can still see my bun. So what I'm going to do is just go in with the brush and tease the middle just to create a little bit more volume just surrounding my bun and the thing with this hairstyle is it's so messy like it don't have to be perfect at all so you can really just kind of not have to worry about being too neat with this hairstyle so I'm just making sure that I really separate these curls just because for me I really like for I like this hairstyle better when the curls are like more tight so any pieces that I feel like are too thick like this piece here in the back way too thick so I'm going to separate it again and again just so that I can get more of a fluffier lighter curl. So now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm going to start to cut this. So I'm going to put it into a very messy just like ponytail and even if some pieces like get caught that's fine because the goal here is just for this to be very messy. And now I'm gonna go in and cut a little bit more. And this time around, you wanna be a little bit more precise with the scissors just to kind of like create the shape of the ponytail. Okay, so the hair is basically the way that I want it. I might try to just put it down into like a bun or something like that. I'm just going in with the hair scrunchie and I'm going to put the hair scrunchie on top of or over the ponytail to kind of create the look of a messy bun. And this part is not gonna be perfect, but you just want to perfect it in the best way that you can. So that means still separating it piece by piece and just any pieces that look too perfect you want to really just make them look imperfect. I'm not gonna touch it anymore right now just because I don't wanna mess anything up. Um, but as you can see, I did add like a little bang piece and also just a sideburn. So I'm just taking a little bit of lace glue and it can be any lace glue. This was literally, like I literally got this at the beauty supply store and it literally was like $2.99 up by the register and I'm literally just gonna take it and lightly apply it in between my baby hairs directly to my forehead. And I really like doing this method because it's a little bit safer than putting the glue directly in the hair. After that, I'm just taking a little piece of the crochet hair. You don't want this to be too thick at all. So I'm just really separating it. And then I'm just going to kind of measure it to see like how long I would want it to hang in front of my face. And then I'm going to just cut the top part here. And you'll notice that it's kind of like a flat end. On the side of the hair that you cut so you just literally are going to press this up against the lace glue and since you didn't use that much hair it literally looks like it's growing like right out of the scalp here so I'm just literally pressing it super lightly and as I press it I'm just going to comb down just to get rid of any 
excess hair. This just always looks so cute to me just because it looks so realistic. Partly because it looks like this is literally growing right out of my scalp. So that's why it's really important to use a very, very small amount of hair for this step. Because if you go in and just like glue a piece like this, obviously it's going to look really fake. So you really have to separate the pieces of hair and make sure that they're as thin as possible but you want them to be thick enough to where you can kind of like see and I'm just trimming this a little bit just to make it kind of similar to this sideburn. So I'm just going in with a little bit of wig glue. I'm lifting my real hair up and just putting the wig glue directly under this section of my hair. So once you have the sideburn attached by the ear, you just want to go in with that piece of hair that we left out, your real hair and just literally take a little bit of edge control and kind of blend those two together and I just like to press it down using the flat side of my comb and if this looks like too full or too fake you can always separate it or just pull some strands out that's just what I like to do and then like this is a little too long for my liking too so I'm just gonna go in and cut it just like that but it should be looking something like this my shirt is literally a mess. I have hair all over it, but we are almost done. The last thing that you just want to do is lock this hairstyle in place, and I'm just going to be going in with my Edge Boosters Edge Control, and I'm literally just going to take this all around the perimeter of this hairstyle, and this is really going to just kind of like finish the hairstyle off and just make it look super neat. I just want to do one more thing. So I'm taking a little bit of, well, I'm taking like half of one of the crochet pieces, and I want to add like a little bit of length around the bun. So I'm literally just taking this in the back and I'm just tying this. And it's going to kind of like tie the bun a little bit. And I also just want some pieces to hang off to the side. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Separate it. Just so that it just kind of looks like super curly. I want curls to kind of be coming out of everywhere. So I'm just taking a piece of this and tying it in the back. And I'm basically doing the same exact thing, but just towards the back, just because, like I said, I at this point, I just want curls to be coming out of everywhere. It just looks super cute when it's like that, and just like super messy. So I'm just separating it piece by piece in the back here. And I am going to go in with my scissors too and just trim this because I don't want it to be too long. But I do just want some like random curls in the back hanging out a little bit shorter so it looks realistic but even like the baby hair in the back you can do now why is this piece like not cutting okay so here we have the completed hair let me know what y'all think of it i know that this look is not gonna be for everybody just because it's so messy but i feel like it's a look i just love how it's just so sexy and voluminous and i literally got curls coming from everywhere so let me just go ahead and do my makeup and then i'll be back on to show you the completed look like how does it feel to be that perfect my sister is in here hyping me up y'all <laughs> So here we are with the completed hairstyle. Let me know what you guys think. Would you wear this hairstyle or is it too messy for you? I love this hairstyle. It's giving black girl magic with all the curls. So um, yes, I would definitely be wearing this hairstyle more often. I was gonna do like a big ponytail, but for some reason, I just really like the look of a high bun. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. If you do like it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you are following me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video.